Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, ordered today and it ships today. Winning a Grand Slam title is the toughest task in tennis and there are lots of great current and former players who haven't managed to raise a major title trophy. So today we thought we'd honor the top five women without a major. Starting with former world number one, Daenerys Safina. A powerful, aggressive baseliner, Daenerys made it to three Grand Slam finals, won 12 career singles titles, and rose to number one in April of 2009. At the 2008 Roland Garros, the 13th ranked Daenerys defeated three Russian compatriots in a row, Maria Sharapova, Yelena Dementieva, and Svetlana Kuznetsova, reaching her first major final where she lost to the then world number two Anna Ivanovich. That same year, she won the Olympic silver medal. A year later, she was runner-up at both the Australian Open and Roland Garros, reached the Wimbledon semifinals, and won the US Open doubles crown with Natalie Deshi. But unfortunately, a recurring back injury forced her to retire in 2014. Daenerys and older brother Marat Safin, International Hall of Famer, by the way, hold a record that's probably never going to be broken. They are the only brother and sister in history to attain the world number one ranking. Recently, Daenerys has been coaching elite players at the Match Point Club in Brooklyn. At number four, an exceptional athlete with explosive ground strokes, Yelena Dementieva. In an outstanding career, Yelena won 576 matches, 18 career singles titles, and nearly $15 million in prize money, all despite a sometimes shaky slice serve. In 2004, Yelena reached the finals at Roland Garros and the U.S. Open. To get to the final at the U.S. Open, she won back-to-back third-set tiebreakers and beat Jennifer Capriotti in a dramatic semifinal. She played her most passionate tennis when she represented Russia. At the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games, Yelena defeated four top 25 ranked players in succession, Caroline Wozniacki, Serena Williams, Vera Zvonareva, and Daenerys Safina in the final, by the way, to capture the Olympic gold medal. Yelena retired in 2010 and is now married to a pro hockey player and has an adorable three-year-old daughter. Today, Yelena is a TV journalist in Russia where she covers tennis and hockey. Our number three pick, Yelena Yankovic, who reached the world number one ranking as both a junior and as a professional. Speed around the court, a versatile and damaging two-handed backhand, a feisty disposition and major longevity are all assets of her game. JJ, as she's called, has played 1,000 career matches, which is 10th on the WTA Tour all-time list. Her 641 career wins is third among active women behind only Serena and Venus Williams. The Australian Open in January was Yelena's 53rd consecutive Grand Slam tournament putting her in striking distance of the all-time WTA record held by Ai Sujiyama, who played 62 straight majors. Roger Federer, by the way, holds the record on the men's side with 65 consecutive slam appearances. Yelena reached her lone Grand Slam singles final at the 2008 US Open, shortly after she rose to world number one, but then she lost to Serena. Yelena hasn't won a singles major, but she did win the 2007 Wimbledon mixed doubles title with Jamie Murray. At number two on our list, it's the ninja, Agnieszka Rodwanska. Few players have ever shown the finesse and shot-making flair that Aggie has. Aga owns 20 WTA titles, including the 2015 WTA Finals Championship, and leads women's tennis in mind-blowing shot-making. Check it out. Come on, that's crazy. Many champions say Aga is one of their favorite players to watch. Now, she lacks the massive power of some elite players, but Aga's anticipation, her sharp court sense, and shrewd problem-solving skills make her a real threat out there. 
The 2012 Wimbledon runner-up to Serena Williams, Rodwanska reached a career-high rank of number two. That was in July of 2012. A 2013 Wimbledon semifinal defeat to Sabine Lisicki may have cost Aga the championships. That's where Marion Bartoli went on to win her lone Grand Slam at the 2013 Wimbledon. Well, get this, Rowanska was 7-0 lifetime versus Bartoli. Another testament to Aga's success, she is fifth all-time in WTA career prize money, earning more than $26 million in her career. And now, the best of the best who has yet to master a major, Caroline Wozniacki, one of the game's greatest all-around athletes. Wozniacki is a supreme counterpuncher with two Grand Slam finals to her credit. She was runner-up to Kim Clijsters at the 2009 U.S. Open and fell to her friend Serena in 2014 at the U.S. Open. Caroline is a brilliant defensive player who truly believes that no ball is beyond her reach. She rose to number one in October 2010. She's won 25 career titles, which is the most of any woman on our list. Now, to put that achievement in perspective, Caroline owns more titles than world number one Angelique Kerber, Roland Garros champion Garbina Muguruza, and U.S. Open finalist Karolina Pliskova all combined. This year, Caroline has already reached three finals, which puts her in position to get back into the top 10. Given that she's only 26 years old, if Caroline can develop an offensive weapon to complement her backhand and quick court coverage, she could really have a chance to break through and win her first Grand Slam title. That completes our list. Oh, and by the way, many of you pointed out that we left Tommy Haas off our top five men's list. Let us know if you think we left anyone off on the women's side. I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.